there has been a huge increase in the bed bug population in recent years. And, while bed bugs aren't actually dangerous, they are pretty gross, and an infestation is many people's worst nightmare. Bed bugs can be tough to identify, given their small size and their habit of staying hidden during daylight hours. The first sign most people have that they've had a bed bug encounter is a series of ugly red bite marks. If you do spot some bugs, it helps to know what they look like, since there are many similar species and a misidentification can mean you wasting time and money treating the wrong kind of bug. Bed bugs are flightless insects, ranging in size from 4 one hundredths of an inch, 1 millimeter, as nymphs, to about a quarter inch, 5 millimeter, long as adults. There are seven stages in the bed bug life cycle, egg, five nymph stages, and adult. The adults are the easiest to see and to identify. An adult bed bug is reddish brown in color and about a quarter inch long, about the size of an apple pip. Their color gets redder after feeding on blood. As well as looking foul, bed bugs have a distinct sweet musty odor that is produced by special glands on the underside of their bodies. This odor is used to leave a trail to help them find their way back to their hidey holes at the end of the night. An adult female can lay five or six eggs per day and can lay about 200 in her lifetime. Eggs are white in color and are laid in cracks and crevices. They are about 1 16th of an inch long. If each female has 200 offspring and each of those has 200 offspring and each of those have 200 offspring, well, you can see how essential it is to deal with a bed bug infestation early. Each stage of the bed bug nymph cycle lasts about a week and they must feed each time they metamorphize into the next stage. Each time they change stages, they shed their skin. They'll kindly leave that behind in your bed for you, along with any fecal matter they care to deposit on their way. In bed bugs, the mouth parts are split into two. One part secretes the bug saliva into its sleeping victim, while the other mouth drinks in the blood. The bed bug saliva contains an anesthetic so that it can suck blood unnoticed from its sleeping host undetected and an anticoagulant to keep that lovely red juice flowing. Yum yum! Hope we haven't given you nightmares now. Remember, as disgusting as bed bugs might be, they are perfectly harmless and can usually be treated and eradicated. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Visit stuffforhomes.com slash bedbugs for more information on how to identify, prevent, and treat bedbugs. <laughs>